This is Bumper to Bumper TV. This is what you do when a brand wants to be more than an also ran in the midsize segment. The 2014 Mazda 6 continues the nameplate's reinvention of itself, and like other vehicles in the lineup, it's riding on the Skyactiv platform, which means there will be no V6 engine under the hood. Instead, Mazda is going with a 2.5 liter aluminum block inline four cylinder engine with variable valve timing. On the books, it's rated at 184 horsepower and a very efficient 185 foot-pounds of torque. In a 650-mile road trip, it proved to have more than enough power to handle the mountains and get away from oversized trucks on interstates. The power plant and modified transmission configuration are just part of a major overhaul. All new sheet metal now, all new body, all new chassis, all new engines and transmissions, all new safety technology and a lot of new feature content. So very little is, is carried over. Starting with the exterior sheet metal, the Mazda 6 ventures into design territory that had previously been the space reserved for entry luxury sports sedans. Our test model was the Grand Touring Edition with 19-inch alloy wheels, which are a long way from the earlier utilitarian designs seen on the brand. But there's more than just slick lines to the sedan. For example, this front badge hides a standard radar cruise control, an optional forward warning collision system. A rear cross-traffic alert system is also available to prevent parking lot mishaps. Lighting systems also go upscale with bi-xenon adaptive projector beams in the front and LED combination lighting in the rear. The interior also steps up with a center console dial control that's easy to figure out. A 5.8-inch dashboard screen available in the automatic sport models and above displays Bluetooth connections and other entertainment options, including Pandora compatibility. Even rear seat passengers get some love with seat extenders for comfort on the long rides. Right now, the Mazda 6 comes only in the gasoline version. The company has a hybrid in the pipeline using its own e-loop technology. There is also a Skyactiv diesel engine that will be available for the sedan not only in Europe and Asia, but in the North American market as well. This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.